looking forward to the rest of the summer, especially the first week where I would have the house to myself. You see, my parents wanted an extra week in London. Sure, England was fine, but there's nothing like being a new freshman in high school with nearly a thousand dollars in the bank and a week to spend it. So all I had to do was get my bag, catch a cab, and wait for the adventure to begin. Little did I know, it already had. Funny thing about adventures, they never start off staring you in the face. In fact, they almost do the opposite. Mine began while waiting for my duffel bag. Sure, it was an ordinary green duffel bag, but hey, it meant a lot to me. If you had seen the girl who had given it to me in England, you'd be a little anxious about losing it too. Well, after about 20 minutes, I began to get worried. It dawned on me that except for a few sweaty bucks stashed in the front of my underwear, nearly all my money, and a really choice European magazine, was in that bag. Most adventures, one has to start somewhere, and this was where mine began.
Can you see all right? He seems a little old to be Go driving fine, a cab. Marty. I hope he doesn't die on me. Oh, how much longer do you think it'll take? About ten more miles. I hope I have enough money to pay this guy. Oh no. What? Uh, uh nothing. Oh yeah, the underwear. You want me to stop, kid? Uh, what? There are a couple of good trees here. <laughs> what for? Well, I thought maybe you could. Well, In the rain? You know. Uh, I don't think so. Hey. That's better than doing it in the back of my cab. Look out! Uh, don't worry, I got my fingers in it. Now, I'll have it out in a minute. A minute! Oh well, don't hurt yourself. I began to realize this guy thought I was some sort of a quack or a pervert or something. Uh, fifth one on the right. Well, the trip was almost right. over. Okay, that'll be, uh, 8 Marty. So I paid the guy and figured he'd forget the whole thing by morning anyway. Except he wouldn't take my money. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> well, I guess sweat is good for something after all. Are your parents expecting you? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. They're just in bed. You sure you'll be okay? Oh, uh, yeah, just fine. Then you should probably be getting out now. <laughs> oh, yeah.
strange tub and wondered where your clothes were? And then frantically look for a towel. And then get embarrassed out of your gourd. never stopped. Hi Marty, can I try any shoes when they're dry? Shut up Michael, don't be rude. Your clothes are in the dryer. They're probably are done by now. We're going to take them to the laundry mat, but it doesn't open to I was going to put your pants in the oven, but mom won't let me. Sit down Martin, your eggs are done. I have no idea what this girl was talking about, but I got dressed as fast as I could. You look ten times better than you did before. <laughs> We tried to get your clothes out of your bag, but we couldn't get it open. You can see why you fainted earlier. Your bag is heavy. You ain't much for talking, are you? Who are you? Martin, come on. Didn't Mr. Smith tell you all that stuff? I'm sorry, but I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, you come out here not knowing either your super ain't got no rights. I told Mom we didn't need anybody, especially no white boy. Thank you. 
Besides, this is just for fun, so just act it. As if it's really gonna understand me? Well, it's no stupider than one, two, three. Okay, Umbrella, take us to my house. Okay, that's it. Please. Dearest Umbrella, please take us to my house. <laughs> oh no! I'm scared, buddy. I'm scared. Hang on, Mike. Hang on, Jane. Whoa!
since I missed so much time on account of cheerleading, and I thought you could help me study. Huh? Will you help me study for the exam? I, uh, I haven't even started my freshman year yet, you know. I know that, but I heard that you're the best. Besides, I hear you've had two years of algebra, and I know that that's long enough for what all I need. Well, yes, but... Come on, Marty. Will you help me study? I... Please, Marty? I, uh... Who's that kid, Marty? I thought I told you to go to your... to stay in the room, Jane. Why are you bored, Marty? Are you babysitting, Marty? You dope, why didn't you just tell me you were busy this summer? I would have never even asked you to help me. Oh, no, no, it's okay, Samantha, really. This is just for today. Are you sure? Oh, yes. But, Marty, you have to take us back to the city by night. Oh, th that's just for tonight. So it's like some sort of community service project then? Like Big Brothers? Well, uh, kind of, but that's a good thing, right? I know you just can't do that for one day, but I think it's sweet. I'll just ask somebody else instead, like John and Kluge. And I'm sorry I asked for your help. Oh, and here's $20 for offering the help. I felt so cheap. Like some sort of two-bit hooker or something. Boys aren't supposed to feel that way. I had to do something. I had to keep my mind off of Samantha. You did that on purpose, didn't you? Not Do you know how long I've waited for a girl like that to even talk to me? Nice place. <laughs> Don't ignore me. I hate it when people do that. Michael, come down here. It's rude. Like you leaving me, Michael, in the bedroom locked, wasn't? Well, it wasn't locked, although it might have not been a bad idea. Where's the bread? In the fridge. Two weeks, okay? Besides, quick change in the topic. Oh, I did. There you go again. It's no use talking. Quick change in the topic. Hello? Hello? You know, it, it's like talking to a brick wall when I'm talking to you. Where did I put this brush? Do you really want to know? I'm not going to 
much. You give me the chop. Yes. 
sense. It said it looked like he had a couple healthy ones. Now, they yours or not? Oh, yes. Sure. Not too smart for dressing up like that. Is that so? I'm sure you know there's a certain evilness that runs to mind when they get a child and dress better than Harry's. A certain evilness that makes them think, well, when they're dressed better than Harry's. So tell me, is how these children dress the only evil you see around us? Why well, yes. Of course.
we got back safe and sound, but I couldn't help thinking about what we left behind. How bad it was. And how good. Anyway, we tossed our clothes into the wash, and Michael and I played around a bit.
because we just do. Are you crazy? He'll kill us. What would his parents say if he dies in there? Tell him he shouldn't have attacked us. His, his father's the mayor, you know. So? I'm serious. We have to let him out. But Marty... No buts. I mean, something could be happening to him in there. One second. No, no. We have to let him out. Well then, here. What's this? Just in case he's still mad. You mean you... Just a couple of times. It wasn't that hard. The way I felt, hitting Joe really didn't seem like such a bad idea. But of course, I couldn't let her know that. Yeah. <laughs> 